Hey guys, here Mark the Geek. In this video, I'm playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider for the PlayStation 4. Of course, it's also available for Xbox One as well. And like you see here, I actually got the steel package or the steel box that comes for pre-ordering the game. I don't know if this game is actually going to be available for a long time like this with the steel box. But that's how I got it. And I also got like some art um, cards with um, Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3 so yeah that's pretty cool what you get with this game if you pre-order it um, but let's go ahead right here and start continue the game or let me see in the options I wanted to show you guys something now I can't show you guys the difficult difficulty level right now but there's something in the difficulty level that I really like about this version of Tomb Raider which I'm going to try to show you guys as soon as I can because I think it was pretty damn clever that they actually added um, um, you know, a couple options that you can actually customize in the difficulty level which is really cool so of course I already started playing this game um, um, this game, this right here, this gameplay right now is like uh, I think like a half an hour in yeah like a half an hour in and I decided to go ahead and just skip all the intro cutscenes and the intro, you know, tutorial on how to play the game, how to shoot with the arrow, how to do this, you know, and that and that. So I just decided to just go ahead and start the gameplay right here and see what happens. See what happens. So, so she got stuck in the plane right there because the plane actually went down. So have you seen the cutscene or the trailers? You know that the plane actually goes down. So this is right after it goes down. And we're going to go ahead and start playing right away. Look at that. Rough landing. Look for survivors. Dr. Dominguez, a photo. Okay. So if you press the touchpad, like you see there, it will take you to whatever item you discovered or something like that. Which is from one skill point. Uh, one thing I want to show you guys here is difficulty level. Right now you got smart, normal, easy. But what's cool about this is that you got normal, normal. And for puzzle difficulty, you can actually change it to easy, normal, or hard. So I actually don't care much about the, the puzzles. So I put it on easy. And here frame rate, you can either choose resolution or frame rate. I actually choose frame rate instead of resolution. Um, it makes the game run a lot more smoother, but it still looks good. It still looks pretty damn good. And let me see. I also think, oh, off photograph mode. This is something I want to share with you guys because I think it's actually pretty cool. Of course, you can move the camera around after you, you choose photograph mode, right? Um, there's a couple options here, but what's cool about this is that, yeah, you can apply filters. You can apply borders as well. See there, there's a couple borders available there. Logo of the game. If you want the logo visible, you can actually make it visible and locate it wherever you want. And this right here, Pose, it's really awesome. Look at that. You can actually change her facial, which is awesome. Disgusted, angry, game. This is the game one. No troll, smiling, happy. I think happy looks Pretty freaking awesome considering the conditions he's in right now so yeah then you you could just press the triangle and it takes away all the ui stuff and you just snap a photo there with the share button and that's it you have an awesome photo you can share with everybody and it's cool that you can actually change the animations of her face and that that i, I don't know if you can actually do that in the spider-man game because even though the spider-man game actually does have it I haven't played around with photograph mode. <laughs> Believe it or not, I still haven't played around with photograph mode. I, I know a lot of people been doing that, going crazy with photograph mode, but I still haven't even touched it at all. So this game, of course, I'm a huge fan of Tomb Raider the one and the rise of the Tomb Raider. I played both of them. I love them. Um, but um, this one, what really sucks is that it came right after right after freaking spider-man a week after and it kind of sucks you know it kind of sucks because every time this franchise comes out with a new freaking game it comes out against something you know there's always something that this game is going against and it it, it sucks you know it, it really sucks I, I don't know what's up with square enix 
instead of releasing this game, look at, look at the freaking calendar. Look at the freaking calendar. Look at all the games coming out. I don't think that's freaking hard, you know? And and release this game in on a better date. You know, I don't get it. You know, they could have released this game last month on August, and this game would have done bazonkers. It would have done lots of money. But right now, since it's going against Spider-Man um, on the PlayStation side, I don't think it's going to do that good. But I believe if you played one and two, you definitely want to play this one. So, but when it comes to new people. You know, new people that just buy one game a year or two games a year or just can buy one game and for the next couple months. I think in on PlayStation, I think the obvious choice is Spider-Man and then this one. Uh, of course, if you are on Xbox One, you must be going crazy happy that this game is out because you don't have Spider-Man. So this is the best thing you got right now. And it, if you have an xbox one or xbox one s go ahead and buy this game right away because you're gonna freaking enjoy it it's really good um and i'm telling you because i played part one i played part one twice i played it on the xbox 360 because remember it came out exclusive for the xbox 360 then uh when it came out in hd remastered for the playstation 4 i played it again on the playstation 4 then Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now I can't remember Rise of the Tomb Raider. Did I play it on Xbox or PlayStation 4? I don't remember. I think I actually played it on the Xbox One. I think. But I know I played it completely and loved it. I really, really loved it. Yeah, I think I played it on the Xbox One because it was coming out on the PS4. But it, I think it was going to be delayed yeah, I think it was going to be delayed for like almost a year. I don't know. Something like that. I'm going to have to check my trophies. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to check my trophies. Because if Rise of Tomb Raider is not there, that means I played it on the Xbox One. So here, this is the first time we actually get to the uh, one of these camps. Uh, if you played this game before, you know that every time you reach one of these camps, you actually save the game. Uh, you actually upgrade the skills of Lara. Um, and you can actually upgrade the weapons and you can also customize her clothing and, and everything, which is one thing that I really love that this guy game does that Uncharted doesn't do. And remember, Uncharted is, you know, came, came out of, is influenced by Tomb Raider. So for those that don't know, you should know this is, is nothing new. <laughs> Oh yeah, so we got upgraded our arrow ability there. So you can see there, you can upgrade your skills. By the time you're at the end, your character is going to be fully customized. Your weapons are actually going to be fully customized. So we need to take a bunch of freaking monkeys. The intro for this game is amazing. It's really amazing because it starts like in the tombs. And you're actually um, trying to recover one artifact. And you're going solving puzzles. You're going through amazing tombs. And you're actually swimming. And wow. They did a great job this year with the swimming mechanics as well. Oh, I can't open the boxes now. Crap, I need a tool. So how do I get up here? Okay, up here, there it is, right there. So another thing about the difficulty level is that if you put it really hard, I saw a video, I think it was on IGN. If you put it on really, really hard, um, these, like for example, those white stuff that you see that lets you know, hey, grab from here, you could grab from here, or so on, so on. Or her talking, oh, I should grab this, it might, it might help me do this. Those things disappear from the game. Those tips disappear totally from the game. And it makes the game a lot more harder. But I don't like it like that. So I'd rather play it normal. The water looks incredible. So we got to get that stuff right there. How the hell is that a knife? Oh, no. These creatures, I think they're eels. They're horrible. They're scary as hell. 
Mm. There you go. Yeah, baby. Nice. So we got that. There's a couple stuff down here. So before we actually go up, let's go and collect them. There you go. Nice. I remember remember that to see these stuff glowing, you have to press the R3 or the thumbstick, the right stump thumbstick, you press it down and you you can actually see all the things you can interact with glowing up. So that's how I'm seeing those things just in case just in case you're new to Tomb Raider. I'm pretty sure if you played Tomb Raider before, you already know your stuff. Now I can open this, these boxes. Yes. There was another box over here, right? I need to cut that. Okay, over there. Hey, I'm gonna kill you. Don't worry, I'll kill you later on. I need to eat too. We need to feed her. Good, but it's dull. <laughs> I need to find something to sharpen it. Uh oh, my freaking alarm is going off. Okay. Okay, so now we need to sharpen our our tool or our knife. I can use this. Still need more than <coughs> Buddy. Sorry, excuse my dog. Okay, this got to be something. What am I supposed to take? She keeps looking over there, but... Oh, wait a second. Maybe those boxes? Make sure you actually... All these stuff that you see, the plants and all that, they're always good to actually help. There you go. We got two. We need one more. Is it this one? Nope. Okay, we here we got some. You've got everything I need. Should head back to camp. Okay. Something from a dead animal? What the hell did I take from the animal that it, that it was good enough to sharpen my weapon? She keeps looking over there, but girl, we can't cut. Stop looking over there. Shopper. Kinda sucks that this game is not on the Nintendo Switch, I'm telling you. Ah oh, man. You gotta love the Switch. <laughs> but that's the only negative thing, man. That games, all these awesome AAA games, we can't count on it. We can't count on it being on the Switch. And that's one thing that the Switch is actually missing. There you go. So there you go. We actually did our knife. There you go. She's doing her Wow, that is a nasty that be sharp boy. Whoever gets cut with that, <laughs> man, whoever gets cut with that is gonna be in a lot of trouble. If you, you don't, if you don't die for because of the stabbing, you're gonna die because of something else. <laughs> okay, so there's another one up there. We need to cut this one. There's another box over here. Remember, these boxes, you need to open them up and grab whatever it's in them. Because every time you reach one of those fireplaces, no, I can um, get my gear back. you're going to need those things. You, you're going to need as much things you can to actually upgrade your clothing or your weapon. Uh, your skills, the more you hunt and the more you up, um, grab stuff, you know, you actually get points for that. And I think you actually get skills as well. And I think you also get achievements and trophies too. Miss Croft, anyone? Come in. Miguel? Come in. Where are you? Damn. Okay, I'm, this video... Come on. Now this video, I'm um, gameplay. I'm actually recording it right before the Canelo versus Triple G match, and the match is about to start. <laughs> the 
the matches are I'm looking at the TV and the match is about to start. They're still in the dressing room, but it's about to start and hope it's a good match. You know, I watched the first one and I think it ended up in a draw. I don't think it actually was a draw, but it ended up in a draw. Like this. Let's hope this one is actually better than Miguel? the first one. I'm Where rooting for Canelo, but Triple G is a beast. Oh no. I wouldn't be surprised if Triple G actually wins this time around. Miguel? Uh -oh. Miguel? Something happened to Miguel. A lot of blood, just a shoe. Keep grabbing these stuff. Another dead corpse over here. That's like uh, what? That's like uh, one of those boars. I gotta say, they did a great job with Lara Croft. They've been doing a great job since part one, part two, and part three. I just think it just keeps getting better. And she looks gorgeous. The, the actor that does Lara looks gorgeous she looks really nice the you know the capture is it comes out gorgeous wow that's a lot of blood that's a lot of blood there could it be a bear oh no holy holy crap oh my Mm. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> oh my, look at those eyes. Bloody freaking mouth he ate. Oh no. Oh my god, I thought one was bad. We got a second one. I thought there was going to be like a quick time... Quick time event. I'm surprised there wasn't a, like a QTE. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's right. <laughs> okay, so now we can shoot. And you shoot like that. Oh, man, poor monkey. I killed the monkey. Sorry that I killed the monkey, but I just show, was showing you guys. And it's a fake monkey. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure you get some what you get from the monkeys. I don't know, but I'm not going to keep killing monkeys no more. That's the first and last monkey I kill in the game. Unless I have to. Got to be careful here. Holy crap. Mm -mm. This is not good. So I guess right now we're going to have to fight. Defeat the Jaguars. Oh, yep. Defeat the Jaguars. Okay, we jump. Um, okay. Circle to evade. Okay, so we got a circle to evade. Where is it? Oh no no! Wait, I can get one of these. There you go. There you go. Did I get him? You gotta heal up. To heal up, all you gotta do is press L1 and X at the same time and she heals up. There you go. Oh no no! Oh, there you go. Ooh, right in the head. Ooh, I think we got him. Ooh. Hey, sucker. Where's the other one? Wasn't there two of them? Yeah, there it is! There it is! Jump! Okay. There you go. Ooh, there you go. Get out, get out, get out. Ooh! 
Okay, no cases. Hold R. Hold true. There you go. There you go. Oh, man. Oh. Poor freaking Jaguar. So beautiful. They're so beautiful, but so deadly. They're freaking beautiful, those Jaguars. Oh, my God. This is not beautiful. Oh, no. Oh no, that is scary as hell. Is it the mud? Is it the mud? Oh my god, look at those eyes, look at those teeth. Oh my god. What was it? Was it the mud? Why didn't he kill me? Attack me anymore? Huh. Was it the mud? I don't think so. That was scary as hell. That was scary as hell. I hope we don't have to confront that sucker again. Oh my god. That was scary. Not bad. So we got 250 points. Healing, like I said, hold L1 and tap X to heal. There it is. Craft using medicinal herbs. There you go. Keep collecting stuff. There you go. We're much better now. And there's always, like you see here, there's always herbs everywhere. Everywhere. So that's a good thing about this game. That's not that hard to actually find stuff that you need. Unless you're actually looking for some specific stuff. But there you go. This got some of that. And let's get out of here because we have to finish this video. It's getting long already. Um, it looks gorgeous, guys. The game looks really nice. It looks really awesome. But right now, I'm in the middle of playing Spider-Man. And right now, I'm playing this game. But I'm thinking, damn, I got to finish Spider-Man before I keep on going. And invest myself 100% to this game. And that's what I want to. I want to invest myself to this game 100%. So, like, I'm going to have to stop playing after I finish this video, this game, and keep trying to finish Spider-Man, then I'll be coming, oh crap, almost kill myself there, then I'll be coming back again to this game so I can play it through and finish it without worrying about another game that I have to play. That's the bad thing about having two great games coming so close. So close, Square Enix. Damn it. So, guys... Like I said, man, if you have an Xbox One, you have to get this game. You have to get it. What else are you playing? You ain't got nothing more till Horizon Zero, Zero 4. No, Horizon Zero. <laughs> Horizon 4. Um, what's the racing game? I forgot the racing game. Yeah, Horizon 4 or whatever. Um, this game, you have to buy it. If you're a PlayStation 4 owner, if you play 1 and 2, you have to play this game too. Whether you wait for, to finish Spider-Man, but you have to jump back to this game. You know what it looks gorgeous. I think it looks great. If you played 1 and 2, you're going to be very familiarized. Um, the graphics looks gorgeous. Lara looks beautiful. Um, the skills, you know, basically so far, I find it really, really, really similar to the first two games. So far. So far. Um, I like the difficulty level. I like the fact that you can actually actually choose uh, whether the combat um, the puzzles are hard or sure easy you, you can customize that to whatever you want that's awesome you can also choose your frame rate do you rather use frame rate or do you rather favor resolution honestly I prefer frame rate because it makes the gameplay a lot more smoother um, but resolution actually looks great too but that's up to you I I have a PlayStation 4 Pro and I don't know for me it runs great like this so but guys I hope you guys like the video let me know what you think about this game so far are you playing it are you planning to buy in it and what you think about this game always coming out at the wrong freaking time it's always coming out at the wrong freaking time what you guys think about that I think I think we have to blame Square Enix that's it we can't blame anybody else we gotta blame them Look at the freaking calendar. <laughs> Damn. Well, I can't keep ranting no more. I got to stop this video gameplay and 
Get ready to watch Canelo versus uh, Triple G, which is about to start right now. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this game and the gameplay so far. And let me know if you want to see some more gameplay for this game, okay, in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>